Hi, today I wanted to share with you something that I learned recently while working with the cyanotype process. I think you'll find this quite valuable, especially if you're a beginner with the cyanotype process and maybe you have been thinking of investing in a UV light source for your printmaking. This particular UV light source was suggested to me by a friend. I, of course, did my own online research. It proved to be a good choice because people ended up working with it with great success. So I figured if it's working for others, it's got to work for me too, right? My first experience working with this UV light unit was a fail. Everything seemed to look good during the exposure but as soon as I put it in the water bath, it rinsed right off. Okay, you know, maybe it's just bad luck, right? I did a second one and the same thing happened. And then I chose a different negative and the same thing happened again. So I started to think, what could the problem possibly be? Now my formula is very old. It's about three years old. So I started to wonder perhaps the chemistry is done. But then I said, you know, let me just take a test and do a cyanotype print outside. I did about five tests and all tests worked. I tried different negatives. None of them rinsed out in the water. There was full detail in all of them. So I started to question the light. Did I get a bad light? Or the light just not working properly? I, I, I just couldn't figure it out. Now let's move to today. Having built a dedicated cyanotype box camera with the goal in mind to create in-camera cyanotypes, forgive me if it might seem like I'm jumping back and forth in time, but bear with me it'll all come together. I haven't had any success working with the box camera, which is good because I ended up finding the answer to the issue of why this UV light source was just not working for me. So after stepping back and now looking in again, I started to think about individual elements of what is involved in what I was trying to do. How can I design this box in a way that it'll work? And it also made me start to think more about UV light. To my understanding after reading that, a UV unit with a wavelength of 365 nm is ideal for the cyanotype. After pulling out the light unit that I purchased and having a look at the back which indicates the wavelength of the light, as you can see it says WL395-400. You see this thing here? This is the reason why my cyanotypes did not work. So if any of you have thought of buying a similar UV light unit like this for the cyanotype, be sure to check the wavelength of the light. To save yourself a hassle and save yourself some money. Now I'm not too sure if other people had better luck with this particular light with this exact wavelength with cyanotypes, but if you do, please let me know. I hope you found this information useful and if you have any questions about the cyanotype process please feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next video.